Hello and welcome, I am Arumba. thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Paradox mini-campaign with Northern Line and Mathis. Say hi guys. Hello! Hello. So, I bet uh, no one else was expecting that Sunset Invasion, right? <laughs> yeah. Enjoy this episode because now the Aztec Empire is focused on Mauritania. Yeah. I'll, I'll try to take them apart from the inside out, but I don't, I don't know. It's gonna be tough. Uh, okay. Yeah, you, you've got your, your work cut out for you for sure. I've only got to take one more county and then I uh, can actually form Britannia, which I'm going to rename because Britannia is a stupid empire name. No offense. Oh god, my heir is celibate. That sounds like good. He's got more time to focus on uh, you know, <laughs> the things that matter. <laughs> exactly. No. no, I need heirs. I need... <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Why? How do you get the freaking... Pope to grant you a claim on land. They never want to grant me a claim. That's one of those features where you pretty much have to land a cardinal and then get him to become the Pope. Ugh, lame. Or right. if he's like a family member, if you get your dynasty as the Pope, then you'll get the, mm. the free claims. I tried to send him a gift and he's like, yeah, you know, it would be awesome. Like, I appreciate your generosity. Do you have 2,800 gold <laughs> that you could send me? Uh, yep. That's one of those things. Like in EU4, I like how you can control the size of the do of the gift and yeah. get variable opinion based on how much. But I just took a loan out. I've been using uh, like the gift giving system in EU4. Whenever like improve relations is is done because it's reached a, a, its cap, then I'll just be like, well, I'm 25 points away from getting them to accept vassalization. And I'll send them like 250 gold, and they're like, yeah, I'll be your vassal. You fools! <laughs> you just sold your country away. <laughs> Basically, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Am I allied with this guy? I don't think so. So the Aztec Empire already has 5,650 gold. Oh, wow. wow. I don't know how he did it. Well, I, I can tell you where he probably took it from. No. <laughs> yeah. How's my... Oh, I gotta check my relationship with the Aztecs. Uh, yeah. It might be a good place to put your Chancellor, I just no. realized. Um, yeah, he, he he's positive 63 opinion of me. That's pretty good, man. Not how did bad you, at all. How'd you do that? Um, let's see. I sent him a gift. You sent the Aztec guy a gift? <laughs> How much yeah. did it cost you? No Not wonder. Much. It cost me 1,076 gold. Are wow. you kidding me? It didn't cost me that much at all. Barely. You, I think it costed me under 100. You must have done it before he actually got all of this territory. Yeah, yeah. I probably did. Um, let's see. So I gave him a gift. Um, my state diplomacy with him gave me a boost. We're both just, and my prestige <laughs> gives me a plus eight. Yeah. yeah, the Aztec emperor is super just. Yeah, he's just like. Go across the Atlantic. I have a blood claim on these lands. <laughs> <laughs> says who? Well, says my gods. Exactly. He's cruel and paranoid, though, so I don't know if we're going to be in for just behavior for long. Yeah. I feel you on that one. All right. Uh, on the bright side, I'm basically 100% guaranteed to form Great Britain here. That's good. As long as I can just take this territory before Scotland surrenders its war, or Scotland wins its war. Really what do you think the odds are of Scotland accepting vassalization, though? Zero. Yeah. But I'm a king! Yeah. It's essentially, it's one of those things, I, I always end up complaining about nitpicky type interface things, but the plus minus system is so stupid. Mm. It, it, <laughs> I'm a king is essentially like negative a thousand minuses, but it... Yeah. They give you that hope, like, oh, maybe if I can bribe him enough, he'll say yes. No, <laughs> he will never say yes. He's always, yeah, uh, it, it's, it only pisses me off the most when it's petty kings. Right. Because they're, they're technically dukes, so they're, they're at the ducal level, but they're like, I'm not going to surrender, I'm the just ruler of this land. I'm like, Man, I'm going <laughs> to slaughter, like, your whole <laughs> dynasty. Right. Yeah. My wife is pregnant again. Well, I have a new wife. I murdered my old wife. Would you want to come sleep, sleep with course. my wife? I'm fine with you <laughs> bastarding a child with my wife as long as it comes out with my last name. Gotcha. I mean, I don't care. I've obviously slept around quite often, so... Yeah, no kidding. You have, like, 12 sons now. I know. <laughs> um, no, I married the princess of the Byzantine Empire. Oh, this guy. I'm hoping I might get a weak claim or something through that, or something like my child might, and I can press it. Yeah, just go inherit the Byzantine Empire, Matt. This is whatever. That's what I want. <laughs> it's small. It's barely an empire. <laughs> Actually, it is. I forgot that we were in 1337. Yeah, it's fucking tiny. It is pretty not great. While that's, that's happening, I'm trying to somehow form claims on Portugal and uh, Aragon. Now, 
my heir is the son of the princess of Portugal. Does that mean he's going to get a weak claim on the on the throne? Is the son of the princess. You said your heir is the s what? The s my heir is the son of me and the princess of Portugal. Will he inherit a weak claim on Portugal because of that? Your wife. <laughs> my wife was. Was. She's dead now. Okay, which dead wife are we talking about? Maria? Princess of Portugal. Should be, the, should be the only dead wife I have. Maria Afonses? Yeah. Will I inherit a claim on Portugal? Or my son inherit a claim on Portugal? Mm, no. 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 Because she predeceased them. Oh. Um, she'll get a claim on Portugal. She would have gained a claim on Portugal if her father died while she was living, but... Ah, whoops. That's my yeah. Point. Oh, and it's it's on the orders of you, I see. So you're... Yeah, yeah, I killed her <laughs> off. Because I, I, need, I needed to go to war with them eventually, I thought, so... Yeah, you should have um, you should have killed the king of Portugal and then your wife and then and he's well, a kin he's a kinslayer too. Time to uh, I'm not a kinslayer. I don't think I got caught. No, Portugal king of Portugal is a kinslayer. Oh, okay. So, I'm gonna go ahead and start trying to murder the king, the emperor of the Byzantine Empire. Then what well, are you? We've got a common enemy. Yeah, focus on the Aztecs here. They <laughs> like me. They're my friends. Plus sixty three is not gonna save you, I think. No, and he doesn't even like me. He's negative eleven. Thinks I'm an infidel. I could have sent him one of my bastard children to educate. I oh. forgot that you guys have like a great deal more knowledge than me when it comes to Crusader Kings 2. I mean, obviously that was always in the back of my mind, but as Arumba was explaining like the order in which you should have killed people mm -hmm. <laughs> in order to make sure that your claim survived, I was like, oh right, I know nothing. <laughs> uh, good times. Uh, I, I guess I should go help him out in this. Well, I, I don't want to. I hope he just ends this war soon. I cannot create the Empire of Britannia. Because I need... Oh, uh, I need one more county again. God damn it. <laughs> Sounds like it's time to fabricate claims. I Well, there's like a civil war going on, so I shouldn't even need to. I might need to like form a duchy or something. <laughs> There's 24,000 Aztecs just wandering through my land. <laughs> Excuse me, we're just gonna come on through here. A little intimidating. Nah. No, I mean, they can't declare war when they're in your land, so don't worry about it. Yeah, exactly. No. They have levies raised, man. He's already my liege, but I'm just worried that he's... Well, their event spawn oh, troops, right. so that doesn't matter that he has levies raised, but... Correct, yeah. But fortunately, he's... he's assaulting, so that number's dwindling. That's good. Where is uh, Mauritania, anyway? Is that... Is that a kingdom? Like a de jure kingdom? Uh, if you oh, press, it is. Okay, like Morocco. Yeah. Press O and then you can look at the kingdoms. Oh, my heir loves me by 100. I had an event that made sure he loves me. He's my friend. My son is my friend. <laughs> oh, that's really yeah. nice. You gotta teach him some boundaries, though. Mm. You, gotta, you gotta be the... I mean, your father figure here. You gotta teach him rules and regulations. That's true. It's true. It's amazing how different the prestige system is in this than it is in EU4. Like, in this one, it's like, it'll cost you 100 prestige. I'm like, yeah, whatever. Something costs you 100 prestige in EU4, like, you're screwed, basically. Right, well, prestige is like, right. I want to say almost meaningless in, in CK2. Yeah, yeah, it's like a score thing, and I guess it gives you an opinion bonus or something. Yeah, the first 2,000 prestige are quite important, but after that, it's completely useless. There's, uh, it's one of the things that most mods change. They make it so that you, like... Like, to become exalted among men, you just need a thousand prestige? That's nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, like, exalted among men should be 10,000 or 5,000. That would definitely guarantee you getting your name in the history books. Mm-hmm. Hmm. So, how's, uh, how's Brittany? Or, not Brittany, sorry, you're... Yeah, I'm, I'm you Brittany. tell me how Brittany is. <laughs> how's England doing? It's, it's going fine. Like, I, I miss estimated I had underestimated the number of uh, counties that I would need to form Britannia so now I'm one county shy which throws like a big monkey wrench into the whole thing and now I got like a small peasant revolt and I got to deal with it but you know I, it's pretty messed up I'm pretty sure Scotland is gonna lose the civil war that they're fighting right now and that's gonna be really awesome for me because then oh, they're gonna be fractured shit. man that's what happened to the wretched King Alfonso X, the low character of subject of Greek plays. I am at war with the Aztecs. <laughs> Aztec invasion of Navarra, though. Fuck. Is that what it is? Navarra is just that, like, three-county duchy that you only own two of. Ah, uh, yeah. time to call in allies. That's true. Uh. <laughs> That's true. All he All right. wants is uh, Navarra. 
So can I it, call you into war, Ryan? Uh, no. Are you allies? That's one I'm of those things. You can't just say, oh, hey, I want to be your ally. You got to marry. Yeah. Got to exchange. Go Fuck. Oh, holy so shit. Crazy. I can't fight this. No, nah, I would force them to assault the holdings and then just let them have it, I think. Yeah. I mean, it, it's one of those things like if, if probably over the next 30 years, if they assault down their event spawn troops, they'll become a manageable enemy. But yeah. In, until they get rid of those free men, then. So I should just uh, surrender? Not yet. Like, wait for them to get to 100%. What would he get? Kingdom of Navarra. Yep. Oh, I'm sorry. I was looking at the Duchy of Navarra. Is the kingdom the same size? Yeah, it's a very small kingdom. Yeah, it is. I'm just running with my men right now. He had like 175,000, if I remember correctly. Now he's down to 134. Eh, that's good. He's, they've taken away like one Hungary, mm -hmm. roughly. Like the best thing that could happen to us would be a host invasion of the Aztec Empire or mm. um, that carrion for the vultures event because that's based on your troop count. <laughs> so okay. it'd be like, oh, all of a sudden there's 60,000 random peasants mm. that he'd have to fight. Uh, my son became chased. Oh my god. What's wrong? What are you guys educating your children with? Well, I'm going to see I if I can maybe play a boat bomb game on them a little bit. I, I don't actually have any children. Um, well, I mean, I have one, but he's celibate. He's given up on. <laughs> he's dead to me. I don't understand. It's like the worst thing you could possibly do. If I take their capital, does that really do anything? Will that stop? Are me? you actually? <laughs> Isn't their capital across the Atlantic? No, it's right here. Where? No, the capital's in Mauritania. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry, I didn't even look down there. He's just gonna. He's gonna assault me down, though. I have a seven seven percent chance of success if I try to assassinate him. Seven percent. I don't know. Let me check what my percent chance would be. If you give him, if you all give it a try, I'll give it a try. I don't too. have enough money. Okay. It's like four hundred fifty gold a pop. It's it's pretty ridiculous. Yeah. I have a I have a eighteen percent chance. That's actually but pretty I good. Kind, if you I kind of don't want to do it because I'm pretty sure that I will end up being chain assassinated if uh, if it happens like that. Did you um Did you put your spy master there? Uh no, not yet. So it'll go up to like probably thirty, 30 or something. 30, yeah. 35, yeah, be pretty good. That is pretty good, but I'd have to do it like all at once. You'd have to basically pause the game and then I'd spam it. All right, let um, me see. Oh, the problem is he's leading troops, so it makes it kind of hard to track him down. I'm going into his capital. I'm just going to assault the shit out of his capital. Nice. County of. There should be like a way to attack event spawn troops, like night strikes or something. Right? That would be cool. He's spreading out his troops really thinly. I might be able to boat bomb his troops a little bit. Yeah, just careful though, they only have half morale at sea. That's true. If I can hit, well, if I hit low numbers. If yeah, I like, take his capital, does that fucking really even do anything? No. But if you went yeah. to Asturias de Oviedo, you might be able to take that 10 stack. How many mm. troops do you have? 15,000. Oh god. <laughs> it's not very good. You, it's bad, you need more than that. I'm taking out a uh, seven stack on him right now. I just encountered him, cut him off before he crossed. Oh my god, you huh. assholes! Just let me take one more county off you. You see, this is where we need like coalitions in CK2. You yeah. Know, get the Holy Roman Empire and France involved and be like, hey, those Aztec guys are bad. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's kill them. I'm just gonna Plants. chase him down. Oh, why won't you come to my territory? Ah, uh, whatever. I'll just wait for Scotland to win. Oh, we're only playing on speed two, and I think we tried doing three last time. You want to bump it up? Sure. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. I, the only reason I, I was questioning that is because I just did find a, a seam through which to declare war, but that's okay. Now, what, what's, your, um, what's your game plan after you become Great Britain? Uh, for Scotland to vassalize or take them over using de jure claims, and then... After that, I don't know. Um, All right. I guess I'll, I'll probably start trying to help out what's going on there in the Aztec Empire situation. I, I might be one of the strongest military powers in Western Europe. My son was sacrificed. What do you mean you sacrificed him? Is no, they Aztec sacrificed event? him. What? <laughs> they, did they capture him in, in yeah, battle? Yeah, they captured him. And they, they just sacrificed my, one of my courtiers as well. Oh, my God. And my other son, they just sacrificed. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, I I mean I accept. Right. 
<laughs> what a humiliating defeat. Oh, they, they actually took more than just uh, just the Dujour territory. They took part of um, Leon. How yeah. can they do that? It's the invasion CB, so they take um, the Dujour territory that they're declared upon, and then whatever else they're occupying. Oh man! It's it's actually it's actually the exact same CB as the one that Mathis got. That's like divine justice right there. <laughs> <laughs> you played as the Magyars. Yeah. It's okay, Mathis. It's okay. We can still do this. Well, I'm at peace with them now for X amount of time. So. Exactly. You got five years. In hindsight, probably would have been a good idea to just surrender. That that was. My bad, so, <laughs> you know, I'll take that one on the chin, but... Alright, well, fuck. Now you just have to take over Portugal in the next five years so that you have get that land? land back. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Where's my capital now? It's all the way over here, okay. Uh, alright, let's take a look at my vassals real quick. I still have my heir, at least. My heir never got captured and killed. I love that they sacrificed your entire <laughs> bloodline. Yep, That's they just ripped them apart. And sacrificed so barbaric. Them. Oh my god, How my many? name? My my title is Huekel Pixqui John the <laughs> Third. That's like the, the, the proper name for a, a, <laughs> this native thing. That's weird. You can find me at youtube.com slash Huekel Pixi John the Third. <laughs> <laughs> you motherfucker. Uh, how many troops do you have now? Well, he's down to 111,000. I took out about 10,000 of his men in that war. That's pretty good. If we can just, you know, survive long enough for him to get down to like 30,000, we could take him out. <sighs> that was rough. You get five. Right. Yeah, you get five years off, so you should be fine. I mean, it might be something where we actually do have to dissolve swear fealty to this empire just so that we can <laughs> take it apart. <laughs> No, normally, by 1300, we'd be like this sprawling empire that could handle the Aztecs, but starting this late is really tough. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, no, well, I'm my, trying my, to my, think of my options. Like, if I go in, if I... If I swear fealty, I become... Oh, do I stay a king? Yep. He's an empire, so you can be a, a vassal king. I actually don't anything. have the swear fealty option on your room for some reason. You might, you might not be able to do it as a king. I'm not sure. How did you stay... How did you become independent after I won that war for your territory? Was he landed? He, uh, he was. He was my vassal, I thought. But now that's all he holds. Well, I guess I'll find another claimant. She... Who did uh, you just... No. Who was it that you put in charge? I can't remember now. <laughs> it was an old, bald Scottish man. What this, was... this happens to me from time to time when I declare war in CK2. You don't, you don't know what the claim was? I, I, fin I finish a war and then it's just like, ugh. I have a, somebody built a retinue for me. That was really nice. Because <laughs> I always forget. Now they're doing the Aztec invasion of Aragon. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> Aztecs are gonna be so big soon. Mattis, we'll just have you boot up as the Holy Roman Empire. Right. When we switch to E4. <laughs> That's ah, messed up. Shit. Portugal's gonna be next. Nah, dude, you take over Portugal. Then the Aztec right Empire now. takes over you. Hmm. I can declare war on Portugal for one petty little county right now, and that's it. See, see, part of the problem we have is that there are no claimants to the Aztec Empire at all. So there's not going to be a single faction war. They're, everyone's going to be happy because they were all granted territory. So yep. until this man dies, we, we <laughs> will not have... It's, it's like, picture the Byzantine Empire except with no claimants, and everyone has plus 60 opinion with the Byzantine Emperor because they were all just freshly granted land. Yeah, it's pretty it, good. Well, the more he takes over, the more people who are going to be willing to jump into an assassination plot with uh, us. Keep that in mind. Assuming that he doesn't replace them, like look True. in the uh, look in Leon, that land that he took from you. Notice how there's there's a dude with a bird hat on. Like it's a, <laughs> that's an Aztec character. Yeah. Well, all the Aztecs look like Muslims on my screen. Dude oh, you, with you, a bird hat on. I uh, see you guys don't have the uh, the DLC. Oh, Aztec faces, yeah. Yeah, I have all the face packs and everything. So yeah, they've got like a, they look like a bird. Like, did you ever see Stargate SG-1? No. You didn't? Okay. I well, did not see Stargate SG-1. It's like the serpent hats that they come in that are made out of metal, except it's a bird. Okay, just, I just, can see just that. Just trust me, yeah. just trust me. I'll it's Google there. it after this. Mm-hmm. Hmm. 
So I think we're going to have to assassinate him. Is my point. We need to generate. Right. We need to generate claims. If we don't get claims going, then. Dude, okay. Let me. As soon as I form Britannia, I will sacrifice my player's life. Okay. All right. By well, assassination bombing. Well, that's uh, that's gonna do it for this video, though. So um, <laughs> we'll see if we can actually figure out how to deal with the Aztec Empire next. It video. will be done. We'll find a way. So thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you again tomorrow. And uh, as always, make sure to watch it from the other perspectives and make sure to like the video. It helps us out a lot. We'll see you again soon. Later. Bye.